Did you know there's a connection between the fairy episode and the one where Bingo paints herself to look just like Bluey? Right at the beginning of the mini Bluey episode, when Bandit is making snacks for the girls, we see Bingo reading a book. The scene goes by quickly, but if you pause at the right moment, you'll notice she's not just reading any book, but one about fairies. You can see the character on the cover is a canine version of a fairy with yellow wings. So, this episode, which is the seventh of the third season, makes a direct reference to the fairy episode from the first season. Pretty cool, huh? That's just one of the 16 hidden secrets in Bluey that will be revealed in this video. Leopard As you might have already noticed, nothing in Bluey is by chance. Every tiny detail in the episodes is planned out. Even in the mini Bluey episode, we notice something really cool. Chili needs to return some books, and on the bag sitting on a bench, we can see the image of an animal. And if you look closely, you'll notice it's the image of a leopard, which is the same animal Bingo disguises herself as in the onesies episode. Another direct reference between two Bluey episodes. Snickers Cap Snickers is one of Bluey's classmates and friends. They've known each other since they were little babies. But there's something that catches the eye about Snickers. His cap, it's yellow with green, which are Australia's national colors and are present in the country's symbol plant, the Acacia Pycnantha. I didn't know that. Australian maps and flag. If there's one thing Bluey's animators are proud of, it's the fact that Bluey and everything in her universe is set in Australia. Even Snickers' cap, which we just talked about, is an example, as we can see the map of Australia on it. For this reason, several references to Australia appear in many episodes. The Australian flag also appears sometimes. For example, the towel Stripe uses in the Christmas Swim episode is a perfect replica of the Australian flag. They really love Australia, and that's pretty cool. Different Long Dog to this day, the long dog toy, which along with the tennis ball, are the two biggest bluey easter eggs, hasn't appeared in just one episode. Well, it appears, but in a completely different way that many people might not have noticed. In the phones episode, when Grandpa Mort visits the healers, it appears divided into three different parts, drawn on paper sheets on a small clothesline in the healer's living room right behind Grandpa Mort. So, for those who were expecting to find the dog as a toy, this time it was a bit different. And in reference to the most famous Easter egg of all in Bluey, today, whoever is a fan of this incredible show will write here in the comments, hashtag dog. Show us that you're also a Bluey fan, just like us. Long dog is food. But the previous secret was definitely not the weirdest appearance of the Easter egg because it even appeared as if it were food. This happened in the Pavlova episode, the 13th of the third season. When Bluey opens the fridge, if you look quickly to the side of the blue dog, you'll notice that in the container where the beans are kept, there's something very different. The favorite Easter egg is right there, green like a bean too. Bluey's animators are really becoming experts in hiding this Easter egg. Frozen Long Dog But what's interesting is that before the long dog appeared as if it were one of the beans, it had already appeared in the episode. It's one of the fridge magnets stuck on the door, just below the letters B and A, and appears several times throughout the episode, since they use the fridge a lot. I think this dog was placed so that the fans would think they had already found the long dog in this episode and wouldn't notice that it was also inside the fridge. Very clever of the animators, I have to admit. Forrest Gump Most Bluey fans know that the show makes several references to movies and cartoons, especially from the 90s. And one of the most famous movies that has a really cool reference is Forrest Gump, the storyteller, considered one of the best movies ever made. In the Pirates episode, where the girls pretend they're on a boat facing various dangers, we see Bluey standing at the end of the net asking if that's all he's got. This is a canine and blue reproduction of the classic scene in Forrest Gump where Lieutenant Dan challenges the strength of the seas, Bluey always paying homage to classic movies. That's pretty cool. Red Healers now, let's talk about a secret that practically nobody knows. Chili's family has a little issue regarding baby generation. As we can notice from Brandy not being able to have babies, and Chili herself losing a baby before the couple could conceive Bluey. Interestingly, this is a fact-based factor, since the Red Healers variation, which are slightly different from Bluey Healers like Bandit, actually have difficulty in having puppies. This was a real characteristic that the show's script adapted to its story context. Quite curious. Adventure Time we all know that Bluey is an independent show, but has a partnership with Disney. But did Disney realize that there's a reference to one of Cartoon Network's most famous shows, one of its biggest competitors, in Bluey? Again, in the mini Bluey episode, we see the room is full of scattered toys. And on top of a stack of books, we see a plush of a penguin wearing a crown and holding a kind of magic wand. This is a clear reference to the character Gunther from Adventure Time, who at a certain point in the show ends up taking possession of the Ice King's crown. 
Ludo Studios have a lot of courage to do this right under Disney's nose, don't you think? Ashtray! In the episode where the healers go to a garden fair hosted by their neighbor, we see the girls having a lot of fun pretending once again to be elderly, only this time with the company of a somewhat grumpy elderly woman, Muffin. But the secret of this episode lies with the person in the background, Bandit. We see that the girl's father is looking at an item that practically doesn't exist anymore, an ashtray. And that by itself is quite strange, since this is an item used only by smokers. In other words, is Bandit a heavy smoker? We don't know this information, but we know that if you subscribe to the channel, it will be much harder for you to miss our next videos about cartoons and animated movies that we always make for our subscribers. Stripe's father-in-law. In the Christmas Swim episode, when the healers are gathered at Stripe's house, we see a very interesting detail in the barbecue area. When Bluey is bringing her gift, Bartleby, to the living room, she passes through this area where the family will have their meal, and almost no one noticed. But in the background, there's a painting with the image of a dog that we can see is a bit older. Probably that should be a painting of Trixie's father, Stripe's wife. In other words, it must be Muffin and Socks' grandfather, Stripe's father-in-law. A beautiful tribute to the family once again. Muffin the Ballerina. And it's not just Stripe's father-in-law who has his paintings scattered around the house. For the keen-eyed, it's possible to see a photo frame with a picture of Muffin in some ballet performance. Now we can understand why Muffin is so obsessed with ballet, as it becomes very clear in the episode where all the cousins are at Grandma Nana's house playing charades. This little dog really loves to dance ballet. Uncle Radley's first appearance. Speaking of the charades episode, did you know that the first time we saw Uncle Radley in the series was in this episode? If you look closely, you'll notice that behind Grandma Nana, there's a huge photo with all the family members, including Grandpa Bob. And at one end of the photo is exactly Bandit and Stripe's older brother, Radley. This episode was number 11 of the second season. The double babysitter episode where Radley appears for the first time is number 39, also from the second season. So, for those who were paying attention, they already expected this new character to appear. Birthday photo. Another cool detail that only eagle-eyed viewers like us can notice was another photo, but this time in the healer's house. In the chest episode, if you look carefully at the wall behind Bingo, you'll notice there's a photo of Bingo herself with a cake in front of her. This episode is the 10th of the third season, but the photo we see was taken on Bingo's birthday, which happened in episode 44 of the second season. And from the photo, it seems like the duck-shaped cake Bandit made didn't get much use at Bingo's party. Cars Homage Speaking of the duck cake episode, we noticed a really cool homage from Bluey series to one of Disney's most famous animated movie franchises. When Bingo goes to see the cake Bandit managed to make after a lot of effort, we can see near the family table a wheeled toy. And if you look closely, you'll realize it's very similar to Lightning McQueen, the protagonist of the Cars franchise, except that we can see some modifications on the toy to make it look a bit more canine, like, for example, the addition of a small tail and two ears. But the red color and the windshield-shaped eyes are identical to those of the Cars from Disney's movie. This was definitely a beautiful tribute to Lightning McQueen fans and to all Cars characters around the world. We know everyone has secrets, and with Bluey, it wouldn't be any different. But for sure, this is one of the shows that I enjoyed discovering secrets while watching the episodes and having fun. And I know you also really enjoy watching Bluey and her family's episodes. And for you to continue having fun, we're leaving two very cool video options for you to choose from and continue here with us. Just choose whichever you prefer and click. Thanks, and until next time.